This is whiskey. Ooh, that's good. This is gin. No, you cannot have it. We have a strict no no serving under age policy here. I'm sorry. Hey, we're on at stop number two on our distillery tour in Buena Vista, Colorado. We are at Deer Hammer Distillery and we're gonna go get a behind the scenes tour and do some sampling. proper way to drink whiskey. I don't with your mouth. <laughs> it's a good start. First smell it. And when you smell it, it smells it smells differently if your mouth's open or closed, I find. Let's try it both ways. Ooh. It's different. So you can pick up different notes there. I yeah. chocolate, tobacco, roastiness, and that's what I feel process. like it smells sweeter or something yeah. when I have my mouth open. And then the next thing I do is take a tiny sip to coat my mouth, kind of prep your palate. Um, and keep your mouth closed for maybe 30 seconds after. That's all I do, just prep the palate. And then I usually go ahead and take maybe a bigger sip and then I get more flavors that way. That's all I do. Tell us what we're drinking. So this is Deerhammer American Single Malt. So this is distilled from beer, essentially, aged two to three years in American oak barrels uh, here at 8,000 feet. Uh, that kind of adds our own special flavor to it because our barrels age at altitude. So mm. we find that adds its own little um, characteristic to our whiskey. My husband was a home brewer and went to art school. So it kind of he kind of became part scientist, uh, part artist. And so he uh, started um, playing around with distilling as a hobby. And then we just wanted to take the plunge and we started right on Main Street here, real small, a lot smaller than we are now. Um, and we just kind of run it from day one. Um, and here we are maybe six years later, and uh, we're a little bit bigger, but still pretty small in the realm of things. We make an American single malt, um, which is very unique. It's becoming more popular. It's kind of halfway between a bourbon and a scotch uh, without the peat, uh, but it utilizes the system very similar to brewing, which uh, you know has such a huge presence here in Colorado. So that's really uh, what was our inspiration for uh, American single malt. Great. It's also unique what we do is we open air ferment, uh, which is a very traditional practice. And what's great about that is it kind of gives us a house flavor um, because it incorporates a lot of the natural yeast uh, found in this neck of the woods in our distillery specifically. You know, during different times of the year when the cottonwoods are blooming, of course they're going to impart some sort of influence on our whiskey. Yeah. So we really like open air fermenting. We looked at what Scotland was doing and we figured they kind of had it figured out in terms of good whiskey. So we only use pot stills, which is quite unique to distillery. So this um, is made by a man who goes by the Colonel in Arkansas. Okay. I mean, he, I think he only answers to the Colonel. So we waited. This is our first piece of equipment that we bought for the distillery. Um, so he built this for us back in, I think, 2010. And so he was great to work with. But yeah, really, this guy, I think, is a one-man show making making stills in his basement somewhere in Arkansas. But, um, you hear people taking cuts on whiskey, heads, hearts, tails. Well, this is where we do that right here. You can see our hydrometer and we just collected at different points and that's all done by taste. Uh, we have a guide of what we do for proof when we make our cuts, but it really the ultimate decision is by the distiller and by the taste. Because because we open air ferment, every every batch performs a little differently. We notice the difference, but other people wouldn't. But um, that is really where the craft comes in. All our cuts are made by taste. And we really started on a shoestring and we used old dairy equipment. Um, so that is how we got our, our start. So um, yeah, we just, everything was done. Um, Everything is uh, very handmade here. Again, we're saying everything, how things are made by cuts. But even back then, it was like really handmade. You know, like every grain was pressed about touched with your hands. So um, yeah, it's great to be able to make some advances, but still keep our our, um, our craft approach to whiskey. Yeah. And we have put, uh, such an emphasis on education. You know, to come in and you can start to equate, oh, it's like beer, or um, this works this way. But when you see, you come back, you take a tour, and you see the whiskey being made. What's also fun is you get to sample it, we do complimentary tastings, tours. You can taste it and have a guided tasting with the people who made it and help kind of understand, you know, what am I tasting? What is that? Why is that like that? Um, even going through how you go through the tasting, I think we love it so much and we love sharing that with people. I think it's, it, it isn't just a, it isn't a whiskey bar. It's really, we like to think of it as an experience. So when you come in, you learn something.
something, um, maybe have some fun, grab, grab a couple drinks, have some burgers off the truck, but you leave with greater understanding and appreciation of whiskey. Here comes the fun part. We're gonna do some sampling, so let's talk about what we're trying here. Wonderful. So the first thing I'd like to sample you guys on is our American single malt. I talked all about how we made it inside, but I'd love you to try that first. All right, let's do it. So sniff. Sniff. Drive by, mouth open, mouth closed. It is based in our white whiskey, lighter botanical profile. Enjoy. So All same right. Thing. Sniff and take a Sniff, drive by. It smells peppery. Mm -hmm.